Introducing Premislav Zizk. Career victories, 18 by way of knockouts against seven losses. Fighting. Zizk. So much respect everybody in British boxing has for this man. You know, he's still got ambitions left in him as well, 28 years old. They believe there's, there's a lot left in him. This one. It is, I think it, people don't understand the, the, the weight that you put. One of this, Premislav Zizk, he's a couple of years older at 30. You know, Frankie Gavin, that was a great win from in Birmingham. You know, he's been in a lot. Well, they've produced some really hot fighters over the years, but... It's, good, yeah. it's amazing to think that. Yeah, he's been around for so long. And it's a sharp, fast start from Eggington, who's unlocking hold. I don't think he's going to hit a final bell here unless he improves massively. Very upright, very... 31 victories for Eggington. In forward more at the start of this second, and he needs to. This looks, looks, looks a little bit forced. You see Eggington just landing a good backhand there. Over the top to the head, I think it lands a treat. When Eggington does land, it's like... And Eggington, we know, is rugged and... He could make it a hat-trick here, and it could be an early night. Tries the big right hand, Zizk. But Sam, technically much better, much better repertoire. Martin Vassell back in 2014, and the run he went on, Glenn Foote, Dale, right in the middle of the pandemic. Didn't agree with you, Matt. It was a brilliant fight, wasn't it? He came on... Uh... One of the eyes of, of Eggington, he's just got to watch out for them big swinging shots. Eggington off. In the only way he really knows, but he's wide open. Looked a really good matchup on paper, the undefeated guy. His defences just get scattered any time he gets hit clean, doesn't kind of know how to weather the storm. Eggington's just slipping inside it every time and throwing the hook. Just smothering his work a little bit, Eggington there. Yeah. Other than just swing away and try and get lucky. Survived the moment, just went for a, a shootout, really. Ha 18 knockouts on the Eggington slate so far. Names on the record, and there's one that's Jose Luis Castillo. That's nine. And uh, Sam Eggington just takes it as another fight. Back. Lovely shot. He's and he's ranked 40th in the Super Welterweight division. Zeke. Even then you've got someone like Sam Eggington who's lost seven of his 38, but he's been in with some really good opponents. 35. Exactly. It can happen. So anyone can build a record. Eggington back by behind that jab, the right eye. Shots to the head in fairness. He's he certainly has a look at this. But another right hand goes. He hasn't, he hasn't rolled over, has he? He's taken some big shots. After that start from Eggington. Maybe Eggington does have to pace himself. A touch. This is good work from Zee. He's still there, Zeesk, and he's tough and he's big and he's strong. So he just kind of, you know, he's got to say, I know he bruises up anyway, but I'd really focus on the body now if I was Sam. I'd really try and kill the. Well, he's proving more elusive here, Zeesk, somehow. Yeah, good body shot. Stay there here. Zeesk and on his bike again. And Eggington might have found time about the body shots, the, the headshot, you have a lot of skate around and you can, you can recover the body. Body shot again, sunk in and just slows Zeiss down, but... Well, we didn't know about the padded record, we weren't too sure and still not too sure about his... Sam might punch himself out or he might break Sam's heart, he might think, what am I going to do to get rid of this guy? Getting to the halfway mark, Tasha after that first round? Not at all, not at all. Got there. A lot of miles on the clock, of course, of Sam. Competitive. Sucking up. Is he getting used to the Eggington power? Zeiss looking uh, all at sea and not really having a clue in the first couple of fights in the seventh round. I just could not 
see any way that could happen. You thought he'd be on the way home, driving back. Headshots, plenty of body shots too. But he's also thrown a not the most technically astute, but nothing wrong with his uh, courage. With the right uppercut, and then find that left hook around the back of the elbow. A little body shot followed. And Leaky. He's been easy to hit. It is, yeah. Good Great shot. shot. Nice right hand, but just bounces. Only six knockouts on the Z's record, so. When you're of course, Kerry Kays, Lucas Malinowski in the other corner. Where everything... I don't think he's won a round, but. I've got him down for two. Uh, yeah, I was thinking psychologically. Now, where, where's, where's Sam's head at? Thinking, you know, I thought I. <laughs> How annoying are those? <laughs> Through. The body shots haven't had the effect that he cuffing punches and starting to go on the front foot. Zisk back. Yeah, and a good left hand there again from Zisk. You know, Zisk. But I, I think he's actually boxing well this round. He's actually boxing. Whips it. Yeah, actually, as well, with considering the shots that Zisk has taken, I think. Four to go. This is Sam Eggington's 14th schedule. With his length of stay in this fight and his sake and the, the one that he sucked it up and come back and stayed in there. The turn from Eggington. But can't pin Zeese down, Tasha. Maybe by now, what have we got to do to get this, get rid of this guy? You don't get the win here. Yeah, it was all very different, wasn't it? Get through this fight, win these rounds, and, you know, damage limitations don't take too much punishment back. Again. But Sam is just, just like, uh, just work behind his jab, win the round. Ready for the 233rd round of his career. Five minutes to go. It's been a bizarre one, hasn't it? Yeah, strange fight. I mean, I think it hurt to the body, hurt to the head, and, you know, the durability and the toughness. Scandinavian Mikhail Hook and our own Terry O'Connor, Steve Gray. And like that, and he's, landed a lot, he's landed about three hard one twos here in this round. One and twos that are working well for him. And especially Eggington tires now. Last few through, but the one twos, I think it was in round five. Eight Eggington, but he has had some really tough hard fights. A lot of miles on the clock. Well, he's seasoned an old master at this distance, Sam Eggington. Yeah, but he's done a lot better than we thought he was going to do after a couple of rounds. We thought the fight was up. Eggington by stoppage, but in boxing, Tasha, you just never know. And he didn't flinch. That's he has kept taking them all night long. He's literally thrown the kitchen sink at him, landed the kitchen sink, and Eggington. He's annoyed, isn't he? He's itchy. He's thinking, come on, attack. I think to a combination, he's got to keep it on him and land the clean. You can see him just lean over to, the, to that. I've witnessed for a while, just taps his gloves together, Sam Eggington. Looked like he'd have been up with him slightly. He's ahead, surely he's head by a long way on the judges. Pretty pleased with him in the corner, you know, he gives him a big smack on the back to, us to go out into the final. All he needs a knockout. Planting his feet there, Sam Eggington. What tells us about Eggington. I mean, I think he's he's won well. The... Be fascinating to... But Zeesk still keeps throwing, keeps firing back. His durability is... There's nothing wrong with that. Not one bit, he's tough. You're gonna have to look at the face of Sam Eggington to see he has landed shots. No, no definitely, doubt. but once again... <laughs> ...for the decision. Michael Hook scores the bout, 119. Damn. The Savage Eggington!